Can the Blue Jays win this final game? Or, or the second game, or will the Angels force a game three? We're about to find that out right now. Tyler Anderson's on the mound for the Angels, and we're throwing Kevin Gosman. And the Mets sweeping the Padres in the uh, nationally wild card series. And it's a 14 11 3 55 ERA this season, and away we go. This one's got a chance, and it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases, and he's got a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you can tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of the stick. Catavigio up to the plate. All right, runners at the corners, and nobody out in the first inning. Good start. Score. As they take a one nothing lead. Biggio up to second base. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. On the ground, two ball. Urshela tossed the second. Not in time, but they got the out at second base. And now it's Dalton Marshall. Ready to work. Bounce to the right. Alright, one nothing lead for the Blue Jays going to the bottom of the first. But the RBI single pushes a back in Anaheim. And getting the start, Kevin Gossman. Although he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings most of the time he goes out there. Guy knows how to pitch, he's got good stuff. Ground ball. Vigio has it, throws the first in time. a lot about how he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. One down, base is empty. And now two and one. Kevin Gosman hails from Colorado, but he plays college ball at LSU. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2012 draft, made his debut at 22 years old. Ground ball. Two down. Two up, two down. Here's Trout, and the righty deals, just missed. Shohei Otani up next. The right-hander gives and up. Trout will walk with two out. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. Line right to second base, and we go to the second inning. We'll produce it. Top of the second, and the batter now is Joey Votto. And now the lefty. Bounce up the middle. Fletcher fires over to first. One up, one down. Bull Bichette up to the dish. Strike two. I think you're sitting on speed there. Space is empty. Alejandro Kirk will hit next. And, and Kirk will draw a walk with two away. 
One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you were the offensive side of it. Kirk off the of first with Jewel Way. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. I think. Back here at Angel Stadium, bottom of the second. Now it's on a red throw. Next offering is in for a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. He textbook pitching. Put ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have to. And Walsh gets one through for a base knock. All right, Anaheim with their first hit of this game. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Diving on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle, didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying it off. Gio Rochella to the plate. Lifted in the air right center field. And George makes the grab. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Ground ball, and we go to the third inning. Nicely done for the out. All set for the start of the inning, and now for the Jays, Kevin Biggio. Now he breaks his bat, scoops it up there, hand it. It's there. Oh, close play at first, but Biggio is retired. Here's another look at this. Oh. And then bare hands throws to first just gets Biggio. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. He had so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More play discipline than that. Down ball. Too short. Fletcher fires it over the first in time to get Chapman and we go to the bottom of the third. Blue Jays with a one nothing lead. Back here at the ballpark, here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. The catcher is a one one. Popped up. Right center field. Springer drifts towards it. Makes the grab one away. Here's David Fletcher. And a pitch. And fouled off. Free a pitch. There to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Now the number two hitter, Taylor Ward. Base hit, Taylor Ward. That's going to roll all the way to the wall there in left field. Ward on his way to second, and he is in safely for a two out double. Yes, that's Mike Trout. Ground ball to Guerrero. He'll step on the bag and we go to the fourth inning. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now the right fielder. And he grounds one back up the middle. Not down. And there'll be no play. He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the end. Oh, that was real life. It's like the uh, Toronto Blue Jays are just. Handed the Tampa Bay Rays their first loss of the season. Nicely done, guys. Nicely done. Yeah, I mean, as great a start that Tampa's been having, they had to lose at some point. And I actually predicted earlier today that their first loss was going to be against Toronto. 
And, well, sure enough. And Votto dumps one in the left. Spring it over to third base, and Votto, with some very alert running, goes up to second. Up steps Bo Bichette. Ground ball. Two out, but Springer will score the run. It is two to nothing. Straight three looking. All right, bottom of the fourth inning. Blue Jays two, Angels nothing. Two hits, no errors, and a man left. Welcome back. Here's Shohei Otani. Swing and a miss. Down one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Keeps the impact going with a foul ball. One and two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his back for strike three. Don't like Now it's on to Renfro. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Right into the plate. Puts it in the air out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away. Two down. And there's two down. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. And he's all popped up. Chapman has in foul territory. We go to the fifth inning. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, number 35. That one is absolutely fell to. That is right to left. That's going to be up against the wall. And that'll be a leadoff double. He's in with a double, and that's the second double of the night. Here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And now, Kevin Biggio. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss struck him out. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. Right, 2-1 count now to Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Two strikes have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two balls and a strike. Here comes On the ground to the left. Two down. And Guerrero is set down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Links the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And a count one and two. Two outs and one in scored position. Guys, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. We leave a runner at second base. Held in check. And welcome back. John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. And set to get us started. Bottom five. Gio Urshela. You know, these angels do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with this pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. 2-2 two -two now. Stays alive. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. Now it's Anthony Rendon. And the right hander deals. This to center. Rendon to center. I'll be caught two down. That takes care of Rendon. And there's two away. Look at Sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Grand Chatwin on to first. And we go to the sixth inning. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Back in Anaheim. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now it's the right fielder, George Stringer. In the left center for a 
And there's a knock for Springer. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he has seen it like a beach ball. Got it. And now one away. Joey Votto. Joey Votto. One for two. That is not going to be deep enough to leave the park. One down, two out. I mean, two outs. Bobachet gets a chance to hit. Slow roller up the middle. Fletcher. Flip to second base and we go to the bottom of the inning. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Now it's the shortstop, David Fletcher. That one pushed foul. And the pitch. Round ball. One down. In time. Fletcher retired. No left field. Now the left fielder, Taylor Wood. Strike three. But they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Okay. Here's the final trap. He's all for one. That will foul off. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch. And when he was in his prime, you would see... Trout. Fly ball. Deep center. Leota has it on the run. And we go to the seven. Andrew Wants. Andrew Wants coming in now for the Angels out of their bullpen. This is where Boltman can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. The one, two. That's for its center. Trout is there. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Ground ball, and that gets through for a hit. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now with the plate, Gavin Biggio. Well, that ends up being ball four, so Biggio's going to walk. Scott Barlow. And Barlow's going to come in. And that will be a double play in the inning. All right, bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the seventh. Joey Otani up to the dish. Otani belts this one to the left. That's caught. Nice grab and a full sprint. And there's one down. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. The punch out there. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Jared Walsh, the next to hit for the Angels. Left-hand batter waits. And, that one. and Walsh crushes this to center field, but that's going to be caught. And for the wall, we go to the eighth. Welcome back in a new in comes the lefty, Matt Moore. This could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. 
And here is Matt Chapman, one for three. Double foul off to a two. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. What a, a pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, but deceptive enough to get that swing and miss. And if you don't catch that pitch out front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. Ripped on a line. We're throwing the serve, but caught two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. So two down now, and here is Dalton Varsho. And there's ball four. Ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. That's Joey, Joey Votto. Next up for the Blue Jays. They say one. They can't give the pitch. Runner goes. Bounce it off. Still one and two. Straight three looking, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. One left for Toronto, but they're on. Swanson's going to come on for the Blue Jays. Pitched in the uh, pitched in game one in the previous episode. Seeing one of the series. Say, and that is a base knock for Urschel to start the bottom of the eighth inning. Strike three. Base hit, Logan O'Hoppy. Two on and one out for Anaheim in the bottom of the eighth. Split the zone down the middle, man. Those yeah, are the right. ones where you got to make a pass. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their hats. That's and right. Fletcher in the center. Here's the throw to the plate. It is cut off by Guerrero, and the Angels are on the board. Ursula in the score. Angels with the tying run at third base. And now Benny Montgomery is going to pinch run. And Taylor Ward will walk. That loads the bases for the Angels. And I think that will do it for Swanson. We're going to put in Jordan Romano. He's going to have to try to get five outs to close this game. But the bases are loaded, however. Fly ball. Hit towards center. That's going to be caught. The tying run will score. And it's now a new, brand new game in the eighth inning. Ground ball, and we go to the ninth. Strike two. And hard, that gets 
Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here in a crucial spot. And here is Alejandro Kirk. Gets the butt down the right. right Faithfully, the butt went down fair. And Bichette's going to move to second as a result of that. Back to the leadoff spot, the Blue Jays lineup. Number 35. And they're going to walk Leota intentionally. Intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. All right, let's bring Merrifield into the game. And that is not what I had had in mind as we go to the bottom of the ninth. So remaining in the game defensively with Merrifield. He entered the game to pitch it and now man second base. Swings through that. Swings and misses, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. And next for LA, Jared Walsh. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the one track. All tied up here in the last half of the round ball. Fires over to Guerrero. And that quick down to the way. A well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. And we are going to head to extra innings. And the inning is over. And his Aaron Loop. And of course, there's no extra inning runner, or no ghost runner, rather, in the playoffs. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? A uh, base knock for Guerrero. definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Man, he's absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. On the ground a second. Might be two. Here's one. On the wash. That's two. Double play. Here's George Springer. Time call now before the payoff pitch. All tied up and here in extra innings. Grand ball is short and we are headed to the bottom of the tenth inning. Yami Garcia. <coughs> Yami Garcia coming in for the Blue Jays. And there's a base hit for Rogan O'Hoppy. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Well, that may end up being a bad. We go back to later on when this game is over. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the end. And Zach Nito will walk. So the winning run now at second for the Angels. Here's Taylor Ward. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. Ward to left field, and that is into the bullpen. This ball game is over. And the Angels walk it off in the bottom of the 10th inning, and there will be a game three.
final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Schott. All right, so the next episode then will be the final game of the wild card round. Winner will move on to the ALDS. The loser will, of course, be eliminated. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.